The Mind-Bending Wheel Paradox, also known as the Wheel Paradox, was first proposed by the ancient Greek mathematician Aristotle. Imagine a disk with two concentric circles of different sizes. When the larger circle rolls one full rotation, the smaller inner circle also seems to roll one full rotation. But here's the catch. The two circles obviously have different circumferences. So how could they both travel the same distance? This puzzling question stumped mathematicians for centuries, despite many attempts at explanations. None of those explanations could fully and intuitively clarify the paradox until more than 2,000 years later, when Galileo came up with a clever idea. He simplified the two circles into polygons and let them roll, with their edges dipped in paint to track their motion. What he found was eye-opening. The large polygon left continuous straight line tracks, while the smaller polygon left dotted tracks with visible gaps between them. As he increased the number of sides on the polygons, those gaps on the smaller polygon became smaller and smaller. That's when the truth started to reveal itself. When two concentric circles of different sizes roll together, only the large circle is truly rolling. The smaller inner circle is simply rotating along with it, but also sliding at the same time. You can think of those gaps in the small polygon's path as representing the amount of sliding. In simpler terms, the large circle is rolling while the small circle is being dragged along. It's not just rolling, it's rolling and slipping. 